Hey, Jay here with McLogan. Today I'm going to demonstrate another color separation using Adobe Illustrator. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be using Accurate Pearl, an additional software that makes color separations and halftones extremely easy when using an output printer and an all black ink system. Uh, in the last video, I demonstrated how to separate these colors mainly using Pathfinder tools and manually manipulating the artwork. Uh, in this case, all we're going to do is assign spot colors to all the colors used in the artwork and then allow the software to separate for us. Uh, to do so, we need to use, as I said, spot colors. These are recognizable uh, by the uh, by a little tag in the bottom right hand corner of the color swatch and we can use the most popular uh, of the spot colors which can be found under Windows, Swatch Libraries, Color Books, and then Pantone Solid Coded. Pantone or PMS system and the solid coated uh, family of it is going to be the most popular and definitely the most widely used in the industry. Uh, w the artwork we're going to use today we got from Vectorstock. You can clink, click on the link below to follow along and download the artwork. And uh, this artwork again is a little elaborate. I think it's about 11 colors. So we're going to uh, dumb it down a little bit to six colors so it fit on one of our presses here. Obviously the background colors just representing a shirt so we don't need to include that. So the first part of the process I guess is identifying the colors in this job and uh, grouping them together or um, identifying them and changing them to a PMS. So if we choose this black here we see it's just a CMYK black um, and then if we go to select same uh, fill and stroke it's going to grab this extra artwork that was all the same color black and then we're going to assign it the PMS black and we see it identified up here. Now we can uh, continue the process step by step doing it for each color um, just repeating the process till all colors are PMS colors and then once we do so we will be able to have the software start doing the separations for us with these spot colors. So if I open our separation preview, this is going to kind of show us what's going to happen. Um, we can see right now we're working only in a CMYK system. Now if I did put that back to a, a Pantone black, now I see that color and I can eliminate every color except for my Pantone black now. Where with this CMYK system, I can only uh, get rid of a channel at a time. Now rather than going through all these colors, like I said, there's about 11 and we're going to bring it down to about 6. I've already done so and uh, we can just go over to that artwork. We see we delete the background and now we have our artwork. So we have these all in PMS colors and now when we see our overprint preview, we see all of our options here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get this ready for print. So all we need to do now is add a couple registration marks. Let's get our line tool drag a line and hold shift at the same time it's going to guarantee a nice straight line and then we're going to choose our outline color and use um, bring this over here we're going to use this color here which is our registration color this is really important that way it gets picked up in all of our separations uh, for the registration mark a one or two point line weight is usually recommended uh, I'm going to do two point just so you can see a little better on the screen here so we're going to copy another copy. You can do so by holding shift and alt and dragging or you can copy and paste then right click transform rotate 90 degrees and then go ahead and highlight both lines and in your smart bar up here use your center tools and then group the object together. You can either group together by uh, right clicking and pressing group or just simply holding control and pressing G on your keyboard. And let's go ahead and make another registration mark. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to highlight both and group those together. And when I copied that again, I held uh, Shift and Alt. Alt or Shift will make sure it goes all in one line. Alt is the actual copy function. Now I'm going to group all of my artwork together and then I'm going to choose my registration marks again centers and now the really cool part so again 
this is going to do all the separations for us. So it's going to print a positive. It's going to look like each one of these individually. Um, it's going to do all this behind the scenes. So let's just go ahead and turn on all of our colors besides our CMYKs. We will uh, go to file print just like normal. I'm sorry, my computer's getting a little slow there. Great, so once our print dialog box comes up here. All right, now under printer, this is very important. We have to make sure we're using Accurate to Epson. Whatever Epson printer we're using will be listed here. Remember, you're still gonna see the Epson printer listed again in your list. Uh, it will print, but it will not print the correct way. We must use Accurate to Epson. Next step is marks and bleeds. I like to put the page information here. It's gonna give you a little a uh, little information here at the top as far as what color separation it is. And last is output. This is going to be default to composite. We must change this to separations, otherwise it's going to print everything. So once we go to separations, again we see our Pantones listed. And we just want to make sure uh, anything with a printer icon next to it will print. So we'll try to print the CMYK process and our Pantones. We only want the CMY or only the Pantone colors. Uh, just go ahead and hit print and you are all done. Now if you mess up on just one positive you can come back and select just the one color that you need to print and even though it doesn't change on the display here that is all that will output. Well I hope this helped and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and also sign up for our newsletter at mclogan.com for all the new steals. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.